but I, I don't know, I prefer to think that no one ever really leaves. When you're dead, you're dead. You want to take another look at that fish? Well, I can see there's more than one pig-headed member of this family. Wait a minute, let, let me try to explain it to you. Here, hold on. See this picture? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, try to think of this picture as being me. My body, eh? Mm -hmm. Now, the picture of its own has no use at all, except as a container for something. And in this case, a container for the water, which you can think of as being my life force. Now, try to lose that. OK. Yeah. Got it? That's easy. OK. There. Now? Well, the only thing is, it didn't last. You see, it's, uh, it's part of the whole river. It's still in the universe. You haven't lost it. Come on, get rid of it. Well, what about this? The god. What about it? Oh, I get the idea. It'll evaporate, become a cloud, and come down someplace else as rain. Yeah, that's pretty clever of you. I guess when you come right down to it, you can't lose anything. That's right. It's probably not even life itself. It's just that everything is constantly changing. So perhaps when our life force, our souls, leave our bodies, we go back into God's universe and the security of being part of all life again and of all nature. So for all we know, that sort of life after death may be very beautiful. If you say so. Hey, Pop. What? Don't do anything beautiful for a while, will you? I'll try not to. And give up smoking. It's bad for older people. Yeah. Well, I'll, uh, I'll just go in and get my orange juice. Keep up my strength. <laughs> 